How you guys doing? You coming up, bud? You my buddy. There you are. Welcome everyone. We are doing a Super Mario Brothers 3 ROM hack. It just came out a couple days ago. It's like Mario 3 Plus. I don't know much about it, but what I do know is that it's similar to Mario 3, but it has like, I think it might have a few extra power-ups and you can select your characters and stuff. He has made a note that mushroom houses are kind of broken, so I'm just not going to enter any mushroom houses. But yeah, let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm excited to kind of get back into Mario 3 stuff. Whoa, whoa, what is this? The Super Mario Bros had defeated King Koopa and rescued Princess Toadstool, okay. Everyone thought King Koopa had left the kingdom and then, whoa, this looks really, oh my God, what? His doom ship attacked, King Koopa was back. What is this, cutscenes in Mario 3? With the greatest of danger, his Koopa kids. Damn you, Koopa kids. Can the Super Mario Bros. Toad and Princess Toads to a rescue the mushroom? Okay, very cool. Is that like the audience at the bottom there? Super Mario Bros. 3 Plus. Is that the crowd? They're like, ah. The 8-bit version of like a crowd going wild. I, I remember hearing this in like sports games and stuff. It's kind of funny. Much of what I expected is original Mario 3. Can't really pick a character here. So we're going to take it slow just in case. Kind of learn and figure out. I don't know how to pick my character here. I do know how to get this one up though. Yo, Lake City. Okay. First level down, not bad. Wait, what? I mean, it's got a whiteness to it. Whoa! Save and continue. I can re-enter levels. Wouldn't it be sick if the levels that I re-entered, everything that I had stomped, killed, and broke was like already broken? So who do we want to be? Do we want to be Toad or Peach? Let's try Peach. Kind of like SMB3 mix. And I can float, so... Peach obviously can get P-Speed, right? Let's damage boost here. Yo, Peach and P-Speed. Yo! All right, we're doing Peach the whole game. All right, this is my any percent Peach run. Shit, I already freaked up. That, I can't see, bud. That, I can't see, bud. Oh, I have to legitimately re-grab, okay. So you can't just jump and hold? Okay. Fat stop, come on, no, bud. Yo, little jump up! Oh, now we're in Baby Peach. So now I can re-grab. Oh my god, dude, did you see what I just did? Oh, what? All right, let's do the auto scroller and move around. Yeah, it's a little, it would be cool if a lot of levels were different and stuff, but what, what? Uh, I just ground pounded. Okay, let's see the mushroom house break. Yeah, they break all right. All right, no more ground pounding. Look at this. Whip. Oh, dude, you can cancel your ground pound. Look at that, that is sick. Nice try, orb jump. Nah. What happens if you ground pound a boom boom just to do extra damage? Ah! She's like closing her eyes, tee hee. Are most of these sprites uh, reworked in from SMB3 mix? I feel like they are. The fortress has a star on it. All right, here we go. Whee! Yo, Leg City. Oh, dude, you can make that jump now. Tunnel, let's go. Can you fly and float? Like, after you've flown. Let's see. No, you can't. Are spade card games safe? Oh my god, look at Peach. That is some anime Peach right there. Oh. Oh. Pretty good, though. Pretty good. Yo, come here. Oh. Toad has turned blue. I wonder if this Toad is turned blue because the Toad character you control is red. And Mario 3 is very good at uh, palette sharing. It's like a strategy that they use in retro games to like save space. I'm surprised that you would go through all of this uh, strife and not just kind of make your own like 15 level ROM hack with them, you know? May that's probably what he's doing. He's just releasing this, you know, first, like a test ride. 
Yo, look at me go. No one, I know how to do fire kills. Let's see if Luigi has his like Mario 2 physics. Yes, he does. Oh my God. I'm not going to be able to make any jumps. What the fuck? Luigi just goes, man, look at him. But he doesn't get the extra boost off of enemies. Oh my god, I, I couldn't even hit it. Yeah, I'd have to say Luigi's pretty quick here. Possibly on GDQ, it's possible we could have this on GDQ. I mean, not this year, obviously. All right, is Toad faster than everyone? What makes Toad special? Kicks. How do I kick something? Oh, wall kicks. Or does everyone wall kick? Oh, I see. Yeah, get kicked. We got to do this level as Luigi. How high can we go? How far can we go? What? It was normal. How is everyone doing today? What? Uh, these characters handle a little differently. Yeah. You're going to be getting more cards. Very cool. Dude, I want a level. I want a level where I can utilize ground pound a lot. We're gonna get the warp whistle and we're gonna go to world eight. That's right, I can float. Oh, cause it's got world one, two, three, four. Well, we can take a look at world seven. Can Peach clip? Yes, she can. Yeah, who are we rescuing in world eight? That's a good question. Yo, this level, what? My brain just decided to work in a different way right then. Yo, the wall jump, I love it. Yeah, we gotta find out who we're rescuing. All right, we still gotta go through the auto scrollers, so. I wanna see if the ground pound is the statue and see if you can ground pound the, uh, the flame. I don't think so. Okay, so, don't get a wrench up your skirt. Okay, let's try this flame again. Okay, you cannot ground pound the fire, and you cannot allow wrenches to get up your skirt. Okay, look at Peach's little legs here when she kicks. Look at them. Boop. Can I, like, float under this? I can. That's kind of... Her, her side shuffle when she gets, like, hit with the screen scroll, that's kind of funny. Boom. Whoa, I didn't want to do any of those things. Whee! There's one thing I want to try after this. I want to see if, if you ground pound slopes, if you can store like a bunch of speed. That would be really cool. Create like a super slopes bro three. Make it all freaking crazy slope jumps. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoop! Oh my god. That's it, Luigi, you suck. The ground pounds, man, the ground pounds are very tough to control. If you tell anyone that I died from a boom boom. How many hands am I gonna get? Yeah, can I? Do I get the speed instantly? I think I do, so it's like. Yeah, I think I do get it. That's pretty cool. Going back in. Let's go. How did I get zero hands? Oh my god, I'm I'm so lucky. So what are Mario's special abilities? Nothing. Mario's special abilities are being average. You went from being the most powerful to the weakest. How does it feel? Look at you, that's what you get. Um, how much do you think that hurts Mario's butt who ground pounds like that? It's too much. You could probably do power-up abuse in this. So like, if I lose Fire Flower with Mario and Peach previously has Fire Flower from a level that I did before her, I could switch to Peach if I'm in like a, in a bind, right? Like right here, I, I've lost. What is the 23? Is that how many times I've played as her or how many, uh, is that how many levels? Oop, floated. Nice try. Oops, all floats. Whee. Fire Peach isn't orange enough. I agree. 
said the little she did the little uh roll there all right so peach is gonna save the mushroom kingdom this time it's her time i am also very curious as to who's gonna be rescued as well should we try a couple bowser's basement since we have safe states mario luigi wait can luigi just jump up there is luigi gonna save the day so let's try luigi with a star let's see if this works well, let's just see if Luigi can get up there. Oh, he can. He can. So, can Luigi just do a duck jump run here? No. Go, Luigi. Okay, but do we want Peach to pave herself, though? We want Peach to pave? Okay, all right. Peach is paving. Go, Peach. Go, Peach. Oh my god, Peach. All right. All right. I love these cutscenes. Let's go. Princess, we did it. She's like, I did it, actually, Mario. So, yeah. That was a piece of shit. I mean, cake. So long, King Koopa. Bye-bye, Koopalings. I think it's time we take a vacation. Any ideas on where we should go? Magical place called Dinosaur Land. Oh, opening up for Super Mario World. And they're all cheering me on because Mario 3 is supposed to be a play, right? They have all the little toad creatures at the bottom of the screen as if they're sitting in the seats watching. That is pretty cool. The cutscenes are incredible. To go through all that work for the cutscenes and to not really change any levels or put your own unique spin on the worlds and levels, it's like, to me, that, that just blows my mind. I just, I, I would have put in uh, some more time, but maybe in the future, right? Maybe test this out. Oh, and look, they wave by. I love that. Thanks for playing press select on maps and stages. Also hold B and press select on stages. What does that do? <laughs> yep. Yep, I've seen this one before. Whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> I just like slide off. My planet needs me. I made it. I made it. Okay, so let's see the ground pound here. All right, that wasn't a good one. Yeah, ground pound's instant. I love it. Oh. So what do you guys think about this hack, honestly? But yeah, thanks for watching, and I, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Woo!